G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here, and welcome to part two of episode 22 of my Owner Builder series. Now, if you saw part one, you'll remember that it finished off with us having those posts all prepped and ready to be hung on those veranda beams outside. We'll stick around for part two, and I'll show you how that's all done. Alrighty, as per usual, big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, I've also been copying a bit of flack or a bit of a discussion about the grey in my beard and the length of it and hair like a hippie. What do you reckon? Personally, I'm just going to let it all go wild as until the end of the job. What do you reckon? Leave a comment below. See you soon. Now this is the style of post support that I'm using to secure the post to the concrete footing. This particular model is called a centre pin post stirrup. That's the centre pin and that gets inserted into a hole that I'll drill into the bottom of this post. Now the reason why I'm using this sort of post stirrup is because it's totally concealed. You don't see any ugly metal flanges going up the sides of your post. Let's give it a crack. The first thing you need to do is to find the center of your post and you do that by just running a diagonal line from corner to corner. Now I apologize for my croaky voice but I'm uh, I've got a touch of the flu at the moment and I'm losing my voice. So there we have the center which is right there. Now we need to drill a 25 mil or one inch hole at that point. So I'm just going to use this one inch or 25 mil speed bore drill bit. There we go. Now we'll drill a hole into the center of this post, keeping the drill nice and straight. Alrighty, let's give that a go. That's perfect, beautiful. Now all we need to do is to get a couple of coach screws and secure the stirrup to that post. Now before we do all that, I also want to run some paint inside that hole just to help seal it up. Let's do it. So just get some undercoat some sealer primer and get it up in that hole just to help protect that freshly cut wood. There you go. I might as well give the whole base a bit of a go. The more protection you can give the timber, the better. So don't be shy, get the paint in there. That's it right in there, that's it. And while we're at it, we'll do the other end where we've cut out for our beams. With all the timber now sealed, we can put in our center pin post stirrup. Now get it centered like that, and then do a pilot hole with your drill. So there you have it. That was pretty simple. Six to go. And now all you need to do is to slide the post up and under those two beams and then insert two bolts through each beam which will hold it securely in place. Too easy. Now the first job on the list is to attach those posts to the veranda beams and I'm doing that using my nail gun. You can bolt the posts to the beams at a later date 
when the job's all finished. Now, a good tip, when using your nail gun, don't place any nails where you're going to be inserting your bolts, as that can make drilling the holes for the bolts a bit of a pain. And a big thank you to a good mate of mine, Jordan, from Rewind Designs, who gave me a hand to place those posts. Thanks, mate. You're a big help. Now you're ready for it. This is how you get your posts to line up beautifully each and every time. Now the trick is to get the posts at either end of your beam set up nice and plumb. Now by nice and plumb I mean absolutely dead plumb. And to do that you just attach a brace to the bottom of the post back to a picket that you've banged into the ground. Once the post is plumb, you nail it off. With that job done, the rest is child's play. You just attach a length of timber between the posts, like this. And on that timber, I have the post spacing marked on it. So all you need to do is line up the post spacing to the post, like Jordan's doing here, and then nail that off. Too easy. With the post spacing all sorted, all we need to do next is to get the bottom of those posts all lined up. And to do that, just run a string line from one end of the job to the other, and then adjust your posts in and out until the post just kisses that string line. And when it does, bang, job's done. Now this is the part of the job that I love. The posts are all lined up, they're all braced off, now all we need to do is to add the concrete. Beautiful. Told you it was easy. And check this out. The post finished up absolutely spot on. I couldn't be happier. Alrighty, with these in place, it's now time to tackle that roof. And get out of this rain. So the next time, I'm out of here. I think I need a cup of tea. Cheers.